Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu. And I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today, we will be looking at the 1973 Ford Mustang Mach 1 Street Machine by AMT Ertl. Now this one's out of my own personal collection. However, you can see all of our available model kits at www.monster-hobbies.ca. I will leave a link in the description below. Now let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. Now we roll the clock all the way back to 1973 as we get to check out the 73 Mustang Mach 1 Street Machine version by AMT Ertl. Now this Mustang originally came out in 1971 with racing parts, but was reboxed in 1975 as a Warren Tope Trans Am Mustang. Warren Tope in card number 31 raced against Mark Donahue's 71 Javelin. But it is hard to know if he raced in a 71 Mustang Mach 1 or a regular Mustang of the era. However, this model kit comes with competition style interior, colorful decals from the later 70s, early 80s, and a 351 cubic inch engine. On the opposite side of the box, we see this kit is a skill level 2. It has English instructions included. Mach 1, at the speed of sound, aptly describes the Mustang's rise in popularity as an automotive styling trendsetter. This high performance fastback kit includes Race Tune 351 V8 engine, competition type interior, front and rear spoilers, hollow vinyl tires, plated clear and red parts, plus colorful decals. Molded in color, paint and cement not included. Length is 7.5 inches or 19.5 centimeters. Now let's take off the lid of our 73 Mustang Mach 1 Street Machines and see what's inside. And right away we see the glass in here followed by the body with the interior inside. Now this kit is out of my own personal collection and I got it secondhand from another collector. So there are still some things in bags like this chrome. And here we have our instruction sheet. And then the rest is just sort of in the box there. So let's take a look at these parts closer up. Here we have our instruction sheet for our 73 Mustang Mach 1, which I received in May of 1994. So this has been in my collection for a very long time. Here we have our Mustang 351 and you can see we've got our engine halves left and right as well as a transmission, front timing cover, cylinder heads and the oil pan gluing in. Panel 2 shows our engine getting further put together with our oil filter, our power steering pump, our alternator, our fan belts and our fan. Panel 3 shows our Mach 1 motor going together for Trans Am Racing with all the Trans Am Racing components. I'm not entirely sure what all of them are, but I do know the main ones like our exhaust manifolds, our valve covers, this crossover pipe with these two bits on the top. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be fuel injections or air, little mini air cleaners. Then we've got this plate which glues on our carburetor, which glues on this intake manifold. And we've got an air induction tube up here, as well as our radiator hose to the front. Panel four and five relate to our tires and wheel combination. And as you can see, we must cut the webbing out of the tire. And then we are able to put in our front wheel and the wheel back. In panel six, we start the assembly process on our race ready chassis with, of course, the chassis pan, the wire axles going through our wheels. We have our springs, differential and drive shaft, as well as a plate to all glue in over the top for racing. We finish our chassis assembly in step seven with the blocks for our wheels to glue onto, then our engine hooks in, and then we have our exhaust pipes which lead off the side of the body. Panel eight is showing our two bucket seats going into the interior with our lockable shift lever, and then a dashboard and the instrument face and our steering wheel. Our race ready interior assembly continues in panel nine with the inclusion of our roll cage. The assembly continues in step 10 where we put our windshield and rear glass into the body, followed by the interior and the firewall. Panel 11 shows the rear assembly of our car. We have the top of our spoiler plus these two supports, our gas cap going on for TA racing, and then the red rear taillights gluing onto the back bumper assembly, and then this little bit goes in there and it all goes together. In fact, you even get two gas caps, one for each side. Our car is complete in step 12 when we get to glue on the radiator and radiator support wall with the battery into the front of the car, 
followed of course by our grill and then our front bumper and the under splash pan and the front valence piece as well as our side mirrors and our hood. And the back panel of our instruction sheet shows all our decal placement as well as includes a paint color chart. Here we have the body of our 73 Mustang and it is quite a yellow groovy fellow. They call him Mellow Yellow. As you can see there are a lot of things we have to remove in here but overall the detail is not that bad considering that this is a Trans Am car. No mold marks underneath really to speak of. The back end is a little bit hollow but again remember that there's going to be a piece gluing in here. Although this does look very good overall I will give it a pretty decent mark. You have to cut out this of course and be very careful and watch out for any flash and seam lines. The next piece we'll be looking at is our interior shell and there's not too much for detail here. It is missing all the pedals. The side panels are smooth as is the back but then again if you're racing Trans Am you're not going to need door handles and all the rest of that jazz. If you're using this as a street machine you would so it all depends really on how you want to do this thing. Here's our chassis pan all ready to go. It is very clean under there and very smooth. In fact this molding is really nice actually. And it, as you see underneath there is quite a lot of detail on that unibody. And again looks very nice and just a little bit of cleanup and it'll be ready to roll. These sprues represent the rest of our yellow plastic components. Our first part street consists of all the engine components as well as the battery for underneath the hood. And again you can see that the detail is not too bad on these. A little bit light for the more professional modeler. But this should go together and end up looking good on the shelf. Our next sprue has a lot of components for both engine and body. As you can see there's our intake and the top of that uh, carburetor plate. And then all these other little bits like our firewall, our rear spoiler and the radiator and radiator support. And again if we bring this into the camera you can see that the detail is not too bad on it. This would be a good kit for somebody to start off with. Not too many mold marks actually which is nice. A couple of sink marks but you know it, you can again make this as a really nice kit for your shelf and something good to start off with. Here we've got our roll cage and the steering wheel and wheel backs as well as a few other smaller pieces. And the steering wheel does look like a really good race ready steering wheel just for Trans Am racing. This parts tree includes the pieces for our hood, front pan, the skid plate and our front wheel blocks. And as you can see if I bring this up to the camera and turn it over that underneath the hood is very clean. Not really any mold marks. A little bit of cross bracing under here but overall quite nice indeed. I thought I would show these components together because they go together. This is our dashboard and as you can see it is really smoothed out. There's no instruments over here at all and this is all very flat. Again ideal for Trans Am racing. This piece here is actually the instrument panel. If we bring it up close you can see the gauges in there and that would just glue right in like that. So again quite the beefy race ready interior. There we've got our bucket seat and it's even got the seatbelt in for the driver. So again simplistic but nice. Our next parts tree includes these Trans Am Racing Rally style wheels which again are really nicely detailed. The highlight of the kit as well as the bucket seat for the passenger again with the seat belts in. And our final components for the yellow plastic consist of our differential with leaf springs and drive shaft as well as the front pans and spoilers. And then there you can see the nice detail in those springs and everything else that goes into these last two components. Not a lot of chrome in this kit as you can see. Just what you need for racing. So basically we'll just take a look at our grill in our rear panel. And as you can see there are nice detail on there. You will have to use flat black washes in as well as some turn signal amber up there. Maybe even a little bit of a wash in on your front uh, headlights there. But overall very nicely done. Very simple for what it is. But again that's racing folks. Here we have our typical for the era glass with the front and rear windshield connected by the two bridge supports here. This is typical for kits designed before the 80s. And then again we've got our tail lights here. And as you can see this does have the nice little three pods on it. So that you could easily paint the tops of that with some silver and it'll look great in your car. 
For this kit, you get four set of tires that are all identical in profile. These are Goodyear Rally GTs. They do have the web inside, so you'll have to cut them out. But if we move these out of the way, you can see the nice raised letter on the sidewalls and this great rally style tread, perfect for Trans Am racing. Now there was a time before you were born when people thought these kind of decals were cool on a car. That would be somewhere between 1976 and 1984. But not to sound too much like a year without a Santa Claus, here we have some Michigan plates for our car, which are KXC068. Now this of course is a, for our street machine version, but I would really like to have Warren Tope's car number 31 decals on here so that I could actually build this car as what it really is, a Trans Am racer. And that completes our look at our AMT Ertl 1973 Mustang Mach 1 Street Machines. If you've built this model kit, let us know in the comments down below, and please share your pictures over on our Facebook page. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this great unboxing video of the 1973 Ford Mustang Mach 1 Street Machines by AMT Ertl. Tune in next week when we open up the lid on another great model kit. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Hit that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first to see it. And until next time, happy model building!